NGOs, governments and international agencies spend millions every year on the seed sector in developing countries. The aim of this investment is to increase food production, support nutrition and build resilience to climate change. Significant amounts are also spent every year on seed in emergency responses to disasters such as drought, typhoons or civil unrest. Nearly all development and aid investment supports commercial seed outlets or community-level seed producer groups. But small-scale farmers also get seed from many other channels, such as from their own harvests, neighbours, development projects or from local markets. Why farmers use different seed channels varies from case to case. Much depends on which crop they are growing, environmental conditions, market links and what kind of farmer they are. In truth, there's no typical or correct way for farmers to source their seeds. Each farmer makes choices based on their own risks and opportunities. Most development and aid projects around seed only focus on a few channels and ignore others. Are we missing a chance to help small farmers access the seed they need? Are important channels being undermined? At the moment, most development spending on seed is based on a snapshot of the situation, such as on a single crop. However, new evidence from low-income countries in Africa, the Caribbean and Asia is improving our understanding of the wider picture. Looking across many crops, we see where small farmers source their seeds. 51% from local markets. 31% from farmers' own stock. Less than 10% from friends and neighbours. 2% via agro-dealer shops. This comes from the largest ever dataset on seed access and tells us some important things. Local markets are significant and effectively supply the poor with the crops they need. Small farmers trust local markets, so rather than simply ignore them, Donors and development professionals need to understand and work with these channels to reach farmers more effectively. In summary, we should be working in partnership with local markets, not in competition. A one-size-fits-all solution simply doesn't exist. We have a range of seed security assessment tools which help to quickly understand complex seed systems. These tools are designed to help development organisations refine their support to seed systems to achieve more impact. This way, we can better meet the needs of all small farmers in both the short and the long term. Think you know all there is to know about the seed sector, or think you could know more? To find out how to help seed systems work better, please visit our website.